Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Now we want to construct an hexagon. This is my line. I say it is point A, right? And I'll measure 40 or so. From 1 to 5 is 40. I'll just take a minute. This is AB, right? So we said earlier from our previous video that the inclined axis of your 60 degrees square let me take it back the inclined axis of your 60 degrees square is what is 60 so this is 60 degrees square so i might not use this bigger one i should be able to use the smaller one if you like this is what we have here so this inclined part is what 60 so when I, my hexagon is going outward so I'll just switch it this way and I'll take it to this point. I'm going to draw the guy. This is 60. Is that again? Then on this point, I'm going to measure the 40. Here. Let's place it here. This is 40. You can see that. I will take in that from here to here. Make it taking it. Right, and I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing. I'll turn, turn it to the, the other way around, and I'll do the same thing here. At this point, by two minutes, I'll do another point line. I'll measure the 40. So I we'll know from A to B is 40. I'll place it here. I'll cut this. The distance from here to here is 40. Right, so I'm going to take in it. I'll take it here. You can see that. And we know the hexagon is going in this way also. So I'll move this to this point where this 40 point is. I'm going to draw another point line this way. Right? I'll know it is 40. So I'll measure the AB, which is 40. I'll come here also. I'll strike an arc. Right, which I'm going to take in. So I'll take in that point here. This way. Now you see that? I'll come here also. I'll turn my first square the other way around so it can go into. So I'll place it here. On my T square. I'm going to draw a line going in. Right? Which we saw, so it is what 40. Measuring this, this is 40. I'll place it here and I'll mark my watch. My 40. Right? So I'll just take in it from this point. Point. So this is what we have. You can see that? And I'll close it up also. From this point to this point. Now, this is the difference. It is also the same thing. Both of them are across flat. But the difference between this and the previous video I did earlier, which I post, which I'm posting, you see it at the top right corner here. Look at this link here. If you click it, you see the difference between across flat and across corner. Now both of them is across flat. Whenever you construct angle 60 or you use your C square, we'll call it what across flat. So another way they can tell you to construct your hexagon across flat. You are telling you to draw an hexagon of 60 degree. Draw an hexagon using your 60 degree square, 60 degree or using your 60 degree square square. So this is the construction and this is the use of what of the set square. So if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.